Uh, we are here with some very special guests right now. This is Andy Suzuki and The Method. Yo, guys, What's thanks for coming, you? man. What's up? Hey. What's yeah, up? welcome to Paste. Uh, so these guys have a great record out. Uh, it's their first album in a minute. We're really excited to hear it. It's called The Glass Hour. Uh, you guys going to do three songs from that record for us today? Yep. Three songs. Tell me a little bit about the first one you're going to do for us. We're going to play a song called I Can't Live. Uh, we actually filmed the music video for it in New York City in like a subway car at 3 a.m., and it was maybe the worst, most stressful night of my life. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you had cool permits video. and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, all, all above board, yeah, right? Yeah, all above board. We rented the subway card. No, it was... Uh, <laughs> it was, it was yeah, about this size. Um, and so that was cool. But no, the song is just about you know the person you're with when you hate them and when you love them. And it's everyone knows how that feels like. Cool. You especially. Yeah, oh, I know. I, you're going to talk right to me. It's <laughs> my soul, man. Been caught a crook under the car Been caught a just a but I never run for long Been on the game alone in love again My mind is heavy oh and I may not make it home And you're the reason that I don't need it Honesty is getting old Oh I've seen all my secrets and you don't need it Honestly, I'm losing hope I can't live without you Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, I want to ask you about this this record. Um, you know, we were we all loved uh, the one that came out in 2013, um, Born Out of Mischief. 
and we it did was too. you did. And I'm glad. Did I'm glad you did because it would be weird if you <laughs> didn't and we did. Yes, you know, you know we crowdfunded forty-seven thousand dollars to make Born Out of Mischief. And did it cost like forty-eight thousand dollars <laughs> to make? <laughs> it like we there's not much <laughs> oversight in our budgetary process, so it cost like way more than it should have. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Bring in the tuba. Bring yeah. in the didgeridoo. You know that kind of thing. So yeah. that's so that three didigeridoo players. Three. Di- yeah. yeah all on all on staff. Uh, right. Just, all just working like just all working retainer. like. Yeah. Five minutes a day, at a, at a full time rate. <laughs> but but we do stupid things like that. But yeah. not that stupid. But very similar. Do you have interns? <laughs> we, we have interns. Yeah. But they, they don't get paid. Shout out to oh, all yeah. our interns, oh past, God. present, future, and so former. Interns and just did it for free. Yeah, that's how that's how game. that's how it works, man. Music yeah. and journalism, you know. Yes, exactly. We just we just share interns. But we want to pay them one day. Yeah. <laughs> just like these guys, we want to pay them one day. <laughs> yeah, right. They'll believe it when they see it, yeah, right? right. Um, but you were gonna ask us something about the record. Before I the was video. gonna ask you something about the record, uh, and that's just sort of like you know the the, the sound of the record, um, which is immediately kind of noticeable as you go through it. Um, it's got a real kind of like you know R and B sound, a pop sound that I think it was you know a li- it's a it's a, a progression from that mm-hmm. first record, For sure. and you know so I'm one I'm here I'm listening to all the songs and I'm wondering like. Is this the is this the direction it was always going, or was there sort of a point along the way where you're thinking like a switch flips and you're like, this is a record we need to make? Yeah, you know, was it an organic thing? It's actually both, right? Yeah, I mean, this is why this man Matt's a pro. Yeah, I mean, you're good at basically this. the first kind of music that I fell in love with and learned to sing by listening to was R and B. Yeah, you know, uh, and that you know, me and Koza grew up listening to that and love. Yeah, that. we were in love with it. And but we were like, but we were like, oh, but we can't make that kind of music. Right. Like, we shouldn't yeah, make that so kind of music. It's so funny because when I, me and Andy first met, actually what happened was I tried to push you. I didn't forget about this. I tried to push him in the R&B direction. Did you? You were playing, well, not R&B, but ah. he was playing piano and we were singing like folk songs and I was like, you know, piano's like a John Legend thing, not a John Mayer thing. And <laughs> I was like, why don't we just do like more John Legend stuff? Right, 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 and then right. we were like, kind of like, no, like we can't do that, let's do yeah. it. And so we, his, his voice was pushing us that way Yeah. and it became a flipping of the switch so both so both yeah yeah and in terms of like the production of the record uh because i know it's kind of a it's a more expanded sort of production mm-hmm. team mm-hmm. was that something that you guys were definitely you know looking to do and comfortable with like bringing in more cooks to the kitchen or yeah, was I mean, there this, a sense that this could go wrong you know we we knew we the producer of the album this guy juni mag in la he's just a beast and he's a friend for years and years and he mm-hmm. turns out he was we, we hired him to play keyboard all the time and it turns out he's like oh wow I'm a, I produce as well and it turns out he's amazing um, and so we were just you know once we heard what he could do with the kind of demos the, the lyrics and melodies that me and Koza were writing it was not even a question it was just like yeah. this guy is gonna help us take our sound to a new place which is the job of a producer right it's yeah. to challenge the artist take them to a place that they didn't necessarily know they could mm-hmm. do and you know I feel like now that we've <laughs> with every album we've come out with, there's been a shift in Closer. sound, yeah. and now it's like, oh, we feel like we're home. We're home. Yeah. I mean, the other thing that's really interesting, just to pick you up back off of what Andy was saying, is that there's this uh, natural progression that came out of the song Shelter, which I think is the next yeah. one we're about to play. So, uh, Andy, Hello. I'm telling you. Yeah, man, you're doing segue. my job for me. Hello. Yeah. Woo! I was just like, yo, I don't know if they pay you the didgeridoo bucks, but I'm trying to get those. <laughs> um, Basically, the idea was uh, Andy and uh, our producer, Juni Mag, a shout out to Juni Mag, they, they worked on the song Shelter, and it, it was so wonderful that it, it was almost like it forced, it was moving us that way, whether we willed it or we didn't. So where would you guys, I mean, if you had not, if that connection hadn't happened, hmm. you'd still be making music, you still would have put out a record, would it sound like The Glass Hour? It, uh, definitely not. Mm-hmm. I think it would have, uh, maybe we would have gotten here eventually, but I think, you know, Listen, we love making all, we love, so, as everyone does, anyone who's watching this, you're a music fan, so you love listening to all different types of music. We love making all different types of music. Uh, Born of Mischief was us putting on our folk hat and seeing how that went, folk pop, and this is us like moving closer to the R&B world, which is where we started. So, mm-hmm. you know, um, I've lost sight of the original question, but I feel confident <laughs> about my right, answer. So have I. I think we were talking about interns. Oh. Right. <laughs> and you guys just you guys just took it <laughs> like way, way didn't. off track, man. I don't even know where we are yeah. now. Um, Based on that response, we should obviously pay our interns because they have to listen to that. <laughs> yeah. A lot. yeah, that's right. Plus, they're doing all the work, apparently. Yes. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, so anyway, uh, we did have a segue sort of sprinkled in there somewhere. Um, yes. The next song you guys are going to do from the record is... Let's do Shelter. Yeah, Shelter. shelter. Cool. Did I force that? I didn't mean yeah. to. Sorry. <laughs> Not bad, guys. Shelter. 
Shout out to Swell Water Bottles. Just in an effort to get free ones in the future. Yeah, shout out. Check. You're tired of being in the middle. You're tired of being pushed around. I'm tired of reading your symbols, baby. Ding, ding, ding. No, I'm no good at sleeping around. Won't you shelter me? Shelter me, shelter. Won't you shelter me? Shelter me here. Yes, I'll be your shelter. Yes, I'll be your only one. Cause you and me go together. Cause you and me only. Your shelter, your shelter, yeah. Yes, I'll be the one. It probably felt coincident. Both are searching, the lost and found. For former lovers, seen them in. Baby, cross them. No, I'm no good at sleeping around. Oh, I'm still no damn good at sleeping all around. Oh, won't you share to me? I share to me. Oh, yeah. Won't you share to me? Won't you share to me right here, baby? Yes, I'll be your share. Show me. 
Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so, you know, one thing I love about what you guys are doing, and uh, it really comes through on the record, I think, is it's an organic uh, live band sound, but, you know, in a kind of a more modern R&B framework. And, you know, so as you guys are, are looking ahead and, and making this record, and you're doing it with, like, more producers and a little bit more kind of, I don't know about expensive, but, you know, grander production, was it any more more of a challenge to like keep the core of like live guitar live drums you know like it's a it's a live band is that harder to do with the kind of music that you guys have sort of gravitated toward i think you're um you listen to a lot of music you know a lot of things i think a lot actually of the glass hour sounds like live drums but it's not it's not right which is which means our producer did a good job. That's do you know right. what I mean? Which yeah. so there's obviously live guitar and there's there's live bass. There's there's certain live live instruments. But uh, you know, for me, like I feel like as you keep making music, you learn what you love and what you're good at in making music. And for me and Koza, it's always melody and lyrics. Like that's you know that's what we love and that's what inspires us. Yeah. So you know, honestly. Uh, we just want to make some badass, badass tunes. You know what I mean? And and, and if wh whatever the best vehicle to get our melody and lyrics out is, is cool. We love the organic stuff. Yeah. We love the produced stuff. So um, why like this this format that you guys are in? You know, uh, the way that you set up the band. Mm -hmm. uh, why go that way? You know, you guys could uh, you know go with more processed beats or yeah, yeah. you know more electronics more synths and, and i think you're seeing into the future i think we're we're currently making a new ep right now with yeah. the same producer juni mag and you might see um, things change in that you know we're still trying to figure it out but yeah. but we came from i mean playing i feel like our favorite thing about yeah. why we're still doing this is we love playing music live that's yeah. what we love about music yeah and, uh, and that, we need, and we need a buffer of other people between us. So <laughs> <laughs> That's right. we love playing live, right. but not together right. only. No, although you're no. still you're still right next to each other yeah, on yeah. stage. That's yeah, true. that's true. No, no, uh, yeah, not for long. you're making but, a good but, point. But, yeah, you know, and that that came from you know we've always been playing with a band like we you know find the dopest New York City musicians we can, and you're looking at them in my opinion. Yeah, mm -hmm. and for sure. uh, that you know they. Um, so yeah, that's why the band looks like this. Even though the production is going a little bit in a certain way, yeah. Um, it's also I think the real you know you have to have different kind of iterations. Like for this pace, we can't use tracks for this paced session. You right. know what I mean, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, we like being we love both. Yeah, yeah. and Kosa, for you, uh, you know, you started out, you still are, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a hand percussionist, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is just about the most analog, yeah, you know, true. not yeah. electric, yeah. organic. Yeah instrument you yeah. can play mm -hmm. yeah, so as you as you know your role in all of this uh as an instrumentalist you know how have you sort of figured out how best yeah. to apply your skills to this evolving sound that's, yeah that's a good question i think i think what it comes down to i mean i get to play with connor so much and and that really helps i think having a, a drummer that understands and we work off each other and then i don't know yeah like I, I, connor's so unselfish and we have to be that way and we just give and take and figure out ways to like fit into the spaces. Like Andy's constantly aware of that, and, and we're aware of that as a group and as a band. We're always like trying to make sure like where's the balance, not too much, not too little, and, and I think ho hopefully we achieve it as much as possible. And, and I yeah. think the other thing uh, to jump in is you know when we first started X number of years ago, like Koza yeah. wasn't part of the songwriting process, mm -hmm. and I think part of it now is oh we are writing songs together and the songs are way better than they used to be. Um, whether that's just a function of maturity or Koza joining the team. Yeah, <laughs> just you get on the boat. <laughs> no, but yeah. so I think, I think it's, it's like, it's a, um, it's, a mix, it's, it's, it's as far as like, he's been, you know, we just write all the songs together. Yeah, and that's, and that's, and that's, that's a big, that's a big part of it. I think that, I think that it would, it, it would undoubtedly be harder for anybody, a percussionist, anybody to take a smaller role if you're play, playing wise, yeah. if you were not contributing in some other way right. very significantly. So like, I think what happens is that once you start songwriting or co-writing or group writing, when you are part of the song, you are willing to make sacrifices for the betterment of the overall piece. And you want it to be as great as possible. And sometimes that means 
doing less. Yeah, but doing more. It sounds like maybe exactly. on the on exactly. the creative right. side right. Exactly. and less on the course, yeah. recording so, yeah, side, possibly. What you and see, anybody see who's like. seen us live will never accuse Cosa of <laughs> doing less. Doing on less. Stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're doing the most, yeah. man. Yeah. But actually, with the with the new EP we're making with Junie Mag, it's like I think we're gonna see that shift yeah. where there's gonna be way more. You know, I mean. Uh, like drum pads, et cetera, like yeah. rolling stuff, like that kind of yeah, stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, cool. You got to manage it, man. <laughs> really? Yeah, you, I mean, I'm not like you have enough to do here, but... Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I could be like a management intern. Uh, you, yeah. guys, <laughs> you guys don't need to pay me or anything. <laughs> Slash didgeridoo player, right? Yeah, that's right. That's okay, right. I have one in my office, Dude, but they I don't let me play. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if you have one. Yeah. Are you like a music ethno... What is it, ethno? Ethnomusicologist? Yeah, are you one of those? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> That's no, like definitely a, not. Way of saying, I just listen to music all day. That's that's what I am. Is there a word for that? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> all right, music file. I don't know. Anyway, um, so you guys are gonna do uh, one more song yeah. from uh, Glass Hour. Tell me about what that one is. Yeah, this song is called Overtime. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones sure. from the record. Um, it's one of the more R and B leaning ones from the record. Um, it's, a it's, a <laughs> it's a sibling for shelter for sure. Definitely yeah. a song cousin, if you will. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's just again, actually. As just like a lot of our songs, <laughs> which maybe gives an insight into life, um, it's it's about feeling like you're pulling more than your fair share of the weight in a relationship. Unrequited, which semi unrequited. Unrequited. I don't know. I feel that's a different topic. Maybe it's hard to say. But <laughs> but they like you know the the interesting thing about relationships is everyone feels like they're doing more than the other person. I think. Yeah. And so that's what this song is about. Like you feel like you've been working in overtime basically. Yeah. Cool. And and unrequited. That thing the semi unrequited semi requited. Semi requited. You never hear about requited yeah. love. You, you want know? yeah, I was the where's the requited love oh, at? Okay, you're right. How many requited, requited love songs are there? Uh, unrequited love is like you, you love somebody at and all. they then like it's not uh, even a thing. But no, I see yeah, you yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's like oh, it's a <laughs> lack of reciprocity. Yeah, okay. It eventually came back. Yeah, edit that out. Edit that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it's all, it's all, it's all live, man. It's all, it's all, it's all down on the record. Awesome. Let's just introduce the band Montea Albui on vocals, just the lovely Montea Albui. Kale Hawkins on keys and key bass. Yeah, clap. Yeah, let's clap. Let's get a clap going. Uh, cue the clap track. Mr. Connor Mee on the drum kit, please. Brooklyn's own Julian Zeblack on the guitar. Sir Koza Baboomba on percussion. Then she done read my mind, she tried crying 
Then she said fine, fine, fine. Then she said lie. Then she did open fire. Then she said it's fine. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great Thanks song, so man. Much. Thanks so much, man. Uh, so this, everybody, is Andy Suzuki and The Method. But of course, uh, the new Est record is The Glass Hour, but there is new music on the way, we are told. Yes. When, when might we expect it, when, possibly? Uh, let's say definitely... 2018. Yes, for sure. uh, well, that's a wide. Now. That's a wide. Know, that's a wide right? range. <laughs> let's say. Let's say this, like this let's century. Say like mid 2018. Mid 2018. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yes. That's yeah. yeah. Um, we're well, we're, we're now, looking maybe. forward to that. Uh, and these guys are online everywhere that you need to oh, find them. Places. They are there with music and videos. Yeah. Uh, so check them out, uh, guys. Thank you so much thank for coming you, to Paste and Appreciate playing in our studio for us today, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for those questions. It was awesome. This is fun. No, those are amazing. Those questions. Yeah. Thanks for those. That's why. I mean, look. That's why people come. I want. You know. Like, questions, right. It's like in between the questions, there's some music, yeah, but whatever. Right. Yeah. Uh, thank no, you. thank you so much for coming. And uh, please, you know, come back again anytime for when sure. you're back around. Yes, thank you idea. so much. Thank All right, guys. man.